Hello friends, in this session, we are going to learn how to install GitLab Runner on Red Hat. So let's start. So in this video, we will cover some topics like how to install GitLab Runner on Red Hat. If you are using cloud platform like AWS EC2 instance, Azure Cloud or VM, Google Cloud with pre-installed Red Hat. Here I use AWS Cloud EC2 instance. Next topic, register GitLab Runner, GitLab Runner commands and uninstall GitLab Runner on Red Hat. So let's start step by step. First, we will see what is meant by GitLab Runner. GitLab Runner is used in GitLab CI CD to run jobs in a pipeline. CI CD means continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. Okay. So it is open source continuous integration service. GitLab Runner is a build instance which is used to run the jobs over multiple machines and send the result to GitLab and which can be placed on separate users, server and local machines. You can register the runner as shared or group or project after installing it. Okay. So we will see now different types of the GitLab runner. Here three types are present in that GitLab runner. First one, share runner, group runner, project runner. Uh, using this, all the GitLab runner, we can register. Okay. So see here, this is the point. You can register share runner, uh, runner as a share group and project like that. Okay. So see step by step what is meant by these runner. Okay. So first one is share runner. Share runner are available for jobs that have same requirement for multiple projects. If you use multiple runner for many projects, projects, uh, jobs or projects, then it avoid using single runner or minimum runner for many projects. It is used first in, first out. We share runner are available to all groups and projects in a GitLab executor. Executor like a shell, Docker, instance like that. Okay, there are multiple executor present. So what is meant by share runner? Share runner, it's a all group. In that group, you have multiple projects. In that multiple projects, you have same requirement for that multiple projects. For multiple projects, you can create a different runner. Okay, but using the share runner, you can avoid the this multiple runner. Okay, and this single share runner, we can use for that multiple projects. Okay. This is a share runner. So group runner. Next one, group runner. Group runner are available for many projects or multiple subgroups in single group to have access to set of runner. It is used first in, first out quick. Okay. So what is meant by group runner? If you have a, a single group, okay, you have single group and in that group, you have multiple projects or multiple groups you have created and in that subgroup you have multiple subgroups created and in that subgroup you have multiple projects are present so that time you can use group runner to access the set top runner okay then project runner project runner are available for the specific requirement for jobs in a one project at a time if you have used only one project and in that one project you can use specific requirement that time you can use project runner so i will use this project runner in now this video okay so see next point is how to install gitlab runner on red hat so see so firstly see the my aws cloud and in that cloud, I register or I create an instance with Red Hat and connect to the HSS, okay, with the command prompt, okay. So now, first step is you have to add official GitLab repository using this curl command, okay. So let me copy this and paste in here. So here our lo client loop is disconnected. So for that, I will again reconnect it okay using this copy this link and paste here okay now it's connect and first step is this using curl command we will add official repository 
GitLab repository. Okay, so paste here and enter. And it's take a couple of minutes for the installing GitLab repository. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, all the packages now you can install now. So next step is you have to install latest version of the GitLab runner using this sudo yum install GitLab runner. Okay, so or another way you can install specific version for that GitLab runner. So use here sudo yum install GitLab runner and use here specific version for that. Okay, so I will use this latest version. So let me copy this command and open command prompt and paste here. Okay, so see here installing GitLab runner and installing all the dependencies. Okay, so you can say yes. It's also take a couple of minutes for the installing. Okay, so let's wait for that. okay now it's installed okay so what is next step next step is you can check the version of that gitlab runner okay so using this sudo gitlab runner version so use here sudo gitlab runner hyper version so see gitlab runner version is 16.1.0 it's a latest version okay so now what is the next step you have to grant sudo permission to gitlab runner user so using this you have to go inside that home and yes ELS and here GitLab runner. Okay, your directory process. After that, register GitLab runner. So, how we can register it using this sudo GitLab runner register. Okay, so let me copy this command and paste here. Enter. And here you ask the GitLab instance URL. So let me copy this and paste. Enter and he asks registration token for that. Okay. So how we can find the registration token for that? You have to log in firstly GitLab account. Okay. After that, you have to go from in the GitLab. After that, you have to go project. In that project, here in the left side, you get the settings. Okay. In that settings, here CI CD. Go inside that. See here, this is the runner. Okay. So you have to expand firstly. After that, here three different runner project runner, share runner, and here group runner. Okay. So I will use this project runner. Okay, click on these three dots and copy this registration token. Okay, let me copy this 
and paste here. Again, I will copy and paste. Enter and ask the enter the description for that runner. So you can uh, ent uh, enter description as your requirement. So I will use here project runner used in red hat. Okay. So enter and he asked the tags for the runner. So see the what is meant by tags here, available shares, uh, share runner in that share window, window, window 1809. Like that, these are the tags. Okay. So I will use here uh, day ops and okay. Again, uh, you have to use different tag name using the comma separated okay so what how, what i will use here red hat red hat enter and here optional maintenance note for the runner i will skip enter and he asked the enter the executor like a custom docker parallel docker autoscaler like that kubernetes so i will use the instance okay instance enter and here runner registered successfully okay so after that next step is you have to refresh this gitlab page okay gitlab account page so see what happened now again you have to go inside that project settings and cicd and runner Okay, go inside that and see assign project runner is created and we enter the description as a project runner used in Red Hat and here DevOps and Red Hat, it's a tag name. Okay, see all these steps we, have, we are, we were performed. Okay, so like uh, go inside that runner and copy this registration token description tag executors like that okay all right here now next step is run the gitlab runner services okay so firstly we will see status of the gitlab runner using sudo gitlab runner status so paste here this command and see status this service is GitLab runner service is running. Now I will stop this service. And see the status now. GitLab runner service has stopped. Okay. Again, now how we can start the service using start command. Sudo GitLab runner start. And see status. GitLab runner service is running now. Now we have to restart the service. How we can restart using sudo GitLab runner? Restart. Restart means this com this service is stop and again immediately start. Okay. So run and see status. Okay. All right now. Now we have to uninstall the GitLab runner. Okay. So how we can uninstall it using this? Firstly, we have to use this command because we have to stop firstly this service. So stop it now. See this stop or not this. Okay. This service is now stop. Now we have to uninstall the GitLab from the Red Hat system. Okay. So use sudo yam remove GitLab runner. Let me copy this command and paste. And he asks all the dependencies and GitLab runner removing. Okay. If you have to say yes, then type yes. If you don't have to remove it, then say no. Okay. So I will say yes 
and C. All this erasing and verifying. Okay. So all this GitLab runner service and dependencies removing. If you are to delete the files which is present uh, locally present on Red Hat system, then you can use these command. Okay. So in this way, we were learn how to install GitLab runners on Red Hat and register GitLab runner, GitLab runner commands and uninstall GitLab runner on Red Hat. So thank you for the watching video.